Hello and welcome to my first set of book critiques. This set will be exploring age-old classics and new award winners with a variety of genres. The featured text for this set is What Do You Do With a Tale Like That? by Steve Jenkins and Robin Page. I chose this book as my featured text due to its variety of content area applicability and the wide range of grade levels in which it can be used. What Do You Do With a Tale Like That? is an informational text that can be used in pre-K through fourth grade. This story goes through the body parts of different animals that help them to survive. The book contains a wide variety of animals in which their noses, ears, tails, eyes, feet, and mouth are introduced as interesting and useful features for the animal. Some facts are well known, while others are facts that even the teacher might not know. One way this text can be used is in a science lesson for third graders. The lesson will focus on developing their life science knowledge and discussion skills. In this lesson, students will pick one animal from the book to research. Their research will be focused on why the animal they chose uses their body in the way the book described. The information they find will be uploaded to a Leno board that was created by the teacher prior to the lesson, matching the habitat their animal lives in. For example, if a student chose the horned lizard, they would add their information to the desert board. This is an example of the desert habitat board and information on a horned lizard that a student might add. Once students have finished their research, they will look at the posts their peers made on the same board to see what other animals live in that habitat. The students will end the lesson by having a discussion with the other students who researched an animal that lives in the same habitat. They will discuss why each of their animals uses their body in a particular way and try to find connections between the animal's adaptations. For example, which animals may be predators or prey and how they use their body to catch food or not be caught. Another way this text could be used in the classroom is by incorporating it into a second grade math lesson. This lesson will help students develop their measuring and data comparing skills. Before this lesson begins, students will choose an animal from the book, What Do You Do With a Chail Like That?, that they will make from a cut paper collage. This will be done to explore the method the illustrator used to make the illustrations in the book. Once the animals are finished, the students will become acquainted with Class Kick and begin the des designated lesson on measurement. In this lesson, students will estimate and measure the length of five animals created by their peers in the units of inches and centimeters. After the students have finished, they will answer questions regarding the comparison of different animals using subtraction to find the difference in lengths. The teacher will monitor student progress in all of these activities through Class Kick and the finished cut paper collage, animals will be hung in the hallway for all to see. Here is the example of the Class Kick lesson. Aside from my feature text, I also reviewed a variety of books. The second book I read was Ramona and Her Father by Beverly Cleary. This is a heartwarming realistic fiction book for students in 2nd through 5th grade where 8-year-old Ramona works hard to bring joy to her family when their father loses his job. The third book I read was Madeline by Ludwig Bemelmans. Winning the Caldecott Honor in 1940, this traditional literature is written in rhyme, which makes it perfect for grades pre-K through 1st. The fourth book I read was Slowly, 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 Said the Sloth by Eric Carle. In this modern fantasy, the main character learns that though he is different, he is not better or worse than the other creatures in the jungle. The fifth book I read was Song of the Water Boatman and Other Pond Poems by Joyce Sidman. The poetry contained in this book can be used in pre-K through fifth grade letting students use the illustrations and the words to travel pond side all throughout the year. 
The sixth book I read was Wolf in the Snow by Matthew Cordell. This picture book used vivid illustrations to tell a story that reminded me of my adventures in the snow as a child. The seventh book I read was Stone Soup by Marcia Brown. This book tells the tale of three hungry and witty soldiers who teach a village with hard hearts how to live generously. This text is an exemplary form of traditional literature for grades pre-K through third. The final book in this set is Click Clack Moo Cows That Type by Doreen Cronin. When Farmer Brown begins to receive type letters from his cows in this modern fantasy, there is commotion down on the farm. The repetition and humorous banter in this book is perfect for grades pre-K through first. Thank you for watching and happy reading!